I'm Dr. Jeffrey Marcus. I'm the Chief and Program Director in the Division of Plastic, Oral, and Maxillofacial Surgery at Duke University. Duke is one of the most well-established plastic surgery training programs in the country. The program was established in 1946 by the late Dr. Kenneth Pickrell. As of 2018, Duke has graduated 178 plastic surgeons. Dr. Pickrell was a man of many personal accomplishments, but none of them were more meaningful to him than the professional and personal successes of his residents. An astonishing number of Duke plastic surgery graduates went on to become program directors, presidents of major societies, members and chairs of the American Board of Plastic Surgery. Duke Plastic Surgery has always taken great pride in delivering an educational experience that is well-rounded across the many sub-disciplines within the specialty. But over the years, several specific areas of interest have become synonymous with Duke. Under the guidance of Dr. Nicholas Georgiade, Duke established one of the first multidisciplinary cleft teams in the country. And in the 1970s and the 1980s, the division became renowned for these programs. Microsurgery changed the field of plastic surgery in the early and mid-1980s, and Duke was at the forefront of that evolution under the influences of Dr. Don Serafin, Chief of Plastic Surgery at the time, along with Dr. Jim Urbanek, who was the Chair of Orthopedic Surgery. In 1995, at the age of 40, Dr. Scott Levin became one of the youngest Chiefs of Plastic Surgery at Duke, and he took the division's commitment and its stature in the field of reconstructive microsurgery to the height of international renown. Dr. Levin also established Duke's Human Fresh Tissue Laboratory, which is an anatomy teaching facility that's owned and operated by our Division of Plastic Surgery and which provides educational opportunities and programs for interested specialties throughout the Duke system and beyond. Dr. Levin's efforts, along with those of the lab's director, Mr. Clint Lewicki, led to the creation of the very well-known Duke FLAP course, which continues today, and numerous other teaching courses that have then followed. The Duke Residency Training Program has three residents per year for six years, and it follows a fully integrated model, and that was built with an intent specifically to borrow from best practices and education from all around the country. From the first day of internship, our trainees are part of our family, and they receive our commitment and our support. But with that comes responsibility, responsibility to represent Duke Plastic Surgery by modeling superior performance in all rotations, in plastic surgery and outside of our specialty. Any training program is measured by the quality and commitment of the faculty, and in that regard, Duke Plastic Surgery is very hard to surpass. We're in a period of very rapid growth. For the past several years, we've witnessed a nearly two-fold growth in our experienced clinical and research faculty. Our recent growth and our forecasted future growth have been strategically crafted to uphold the program's historical objective to create the most well-rounded plastic surgery training program in the country. It's our express mission in this division to instill an environment of teamwork, loyalty, mutual respect, accountability, and family to train future leaders in plastic surgery. And for this reason, we purposefully incorporated leadership training within our curriculum to respect the opportunities that we've all been given by giving back to society and to engage in research and innovation to lead the future of our specialty. For those of you who are interested in plastic surgery residency training at Duke, we will challenge you. We'll challenge you to be the best that you can be clinically, technically, academically, and professionally. Your success now and in the future will depend on the opportunities that we present you, but also, and importantly, what you ultimately choose to do with them. Thank you for your interest in Duke Plastic Surgery.